Hello and welcome to yet another Dragon PME tutorial. I got another email or message or whatever you want to call them from YouTube. Someone communicated to me and said hello. Well actually I don't think they said it like that. But Anyway, they said, oh ding ding ding, people signing out. Um, and they said hello, um, please would you show me how to install Windows on my Mac. Okay, so remembering there's three different ways to install it. One's using Parallels, one's on a boot, so it's directly run, it's not an uh, emulation. Therefore you get the full processing power and the full RAM and everything. In. It's, it's completely better to be honest. And there's something called crossovers. Uh, where is it? I've got it here, there, Crossover. You can run an application through Crossover, so you don't even have to see Windows at all. Now, to be honest, I don't think that's the best way to do it. Um, this one works better for games, although, to be honest, if I, if I want to see, I'll just say, run Boot Camp if you want to play games. Full stop. Crossover, it crashes a lot, it's not very reliable. Run Boot Camp. So, Boot Camp. What is this Boot Camp PME? Um, I'll show you. If you go into your applications and then go down to your utilities, or you can just simply type into, um, is it in the utilities? I can't remember. See, this is there, Boot Camp Assistant. Um, or you can just go to the spotlight and type in a boot. Let's pretend we're just being a boot, like a, a one you buy from the shop, and Boot Camp Assistant is there. There we go. What do you do? You just simply run it, click, and it opens. See, it bounces in the dock, not for very long, because I've got a nice quick Mac. Just close this, bye. And you go through this uh, installation of, of um, a partition and stuff. So what does Boot Camp do? Boot Camp, uh, it splits your hard drive in half. If you can see here, I've got two hard drives. Uh, they're both part of one internal hard drive. Um, it's a 500 gig hard drive, I think. Um, and you see, I've just added a partition. In fact, I'll show you in the disk utility, DIS. Okay, disk utility here. Uh, you can see, right, I've got two hard drives inside my Mac. One has one partition, that's a PME Pro, that's the operating system. And two is um, for like data. So you can see from here, if I go to partition, we've got a big partition internal Pro and a small partition XP, uh, OS X XP. Um, that's all a partition does, it splits your hard drive in half. Easy peasy, you don't have to think about this at the moment. Uh, the Boot Camp Assistant does it for you. So you continue and you say, what do I want to do? I want to create um, or remove a Windows partition. So for example, let's say you're finished with Windows, but you've got this partition. You can use this utility to remove Windows, to say ta bye-bye, adios, uh, blah, um, to Windows, because that's what I did, to be honest. Um, I could just start the Windows installer. So basically, Go to here, create or remove a Windows partition, and you can create a partition from whatever hard drive. I don't want to do it now, I'm just showing you as an example. Click your main hard drive, to be honest, most people will probably only have one. So click that, and you're going to go create a second partition. Or if you've got a partition, you can erase the disk partition, right? Or restore the partition to a single, single partition, so you've only got one here instead of two, see? Um, so you go and you create a, a partition, and you create a partition, and then it'll ask you for um, the Leopard CD, or if you're not on Leopard and you're on a Tiger, you, it will ask you to burn a driver CD. Now this CD is solely for Windows, nothing to do with um, Mac. Um, it's so Windows knows what type of hardware is in your computer. So Windows can install the drivers and get its head together, so it knows what's inside, what's not inside, etc. Um, yeah, so basically, you run that assistant to remove or add a hard drive, no, not a hard drive, a partition. And then it'll ask you for the CD, uh, your driver CD, you'll either make one from scratch if you've got a blank CD, or you'll just insert the insert the Leopard um, operating system CD, the drivers on there. And then it'll restart your computer, do the partition, and then it'll boot Windows into, yeah, it'll boot Windows into the final partition. Two seconds, someone is shouting. Sorry about that. Um, what, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Uh, it boots Windows in its um, like DOS form, and then making sure you've got the um, you've got your driver CD at hand, and you've got your Windows install CD at hand. It'll install Windows straight from the CD as if it was a normal computer, and then it'll, you'll get to the final final stage where it'll ask you to put in your driver CDs and install all drivers. It's, it's fairly fairly simple, honest. It is quite simple. You just it takes time. It's Windows. It's a bit slow. 
to be honest. Come on. And don't forget to keep your serial code handy. You don't want to wait five hours uh, to install everything um, and then find that you don't have a serial code. Never mind. But anyway, that's how you do it. Hopefully I've, I've helped you to get started. I'm sorry I can't really show you Windows being installed because I can't use a capture utility. Um, but I think I've tried to explain it as best as I can. I'm sorry if I haven't. And um, basically it, it splits your hard drive in two and installs Windows on it. Right, another thing that if, if you've got Windows installed, loads and loads and loads of people, including me, first time, um, you get Windows start and then you restart your Mac to come back into OS uh, 10. OS X, OS 10, whatever you want to call it, um, and you you restart the comment, and it starts in Windows again, and you're like, I can't get out of Windows, um, and, and you're sitting, you're worried, what if my uh, Mac has disappeared, oh my gosh, what what have I done, etc, I've lost all my work, no you haven't, if you go into, uh, I'm just trying to do it with my mouse to bring, my start in the bottom left hand corner, go up to control panel, and then you bring up a window, and you want to go down, uh, um, just show all. in the control panel, there is, startup disk this option is being added because of what um, leopard or tiger well the boot camp has installed you can click it and you can tell it to start in like to always start in mac or to always start in windows you'll notice a third icon will come up mac windows network um, and it will be currently selected in windows you'll just click on mac os x alternatively in the taskbar you can right click the bottom um, there's a little boot camp um, logo in the taskbar uh, you can right click that and go restart into Mac okay so what if you don't want to do that also if you start your Mac and do you know when it goes bong or some of them actually lose the bong like my mini Mac did but it came back and um, you can press um oh crap what was it I think it's alt yes I th I'm sure it's alt you can press alt on startup and you'll get an option do you want to start it in Mac or do you want to start it um, in Windows so you click alt you press alt on the keyboard um, when you hear the startup bong and keep holding alt until you see the screen appear um, yeah so hopefully uh, you've learned something about bootcamp i'm sorry i haven't uh, been able to show you as visually as uh, i would like to hopefully i've um, not gone too fast sorry for such a crap tutorial to be honest um i suppose looking at it back it could have been better um but thank you very much for sitting through. If you got at this stage, uh, well done. Well done for watching. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time if you, uh, you like watching tutorials that are boring. Um, and you think, oh, Dragon Pay Me is not a bad fella. He's trying his best. Anyway, uh, if that's okay, I'll see you next time on the Dragon Pay Me tutorial.